What is going on guys, this is Waffle here, and welcome back to some more Bug Snacks. Now last time we left off, we had like an, another spooky night where we had like a, a Bug Snack monster or something like that that, that came to Snacksburg. And we had to kind of investigate around to see what it was, and it turned out to be like a grumpus, and then it like spread off into a bunch of like different uh, pathways as like bug snack like tracks. It was, it was kind of crazy. And then we also brought oh look at that we have a uh, Trifica, and oh, I keep saying Trifica, Trifony and Wambus, or it looks like they're about to say something. So that's going to be pretty interesting. Uh, but we also brought back Cromdo over here as well as Chandlo and his friend Snorpy, I think his name was. So now they're all over here as well. And we need to go beyond the desert to, to try and find the other members that we're missing right now. And we'll, we'll look into that a little bit later. And I even got some comments from you guys saying, hey, you could do the, oh man, what was it called again? But we had like the, the little shrabby and the buggy ball thing trying to make the, the Queeble like follow the shrabby. I don't know why I didn't think of it while I was in the moment recording playing last episode, but you guys said, hey, just cover the the buggy ball and joglet and you get the Queeble to follow him around. Yeah, I forgot that was like literally something that we did back at the heckin' beach. I, that's how we brought the Queeble from, you know, w without having to trap it and stuff like that. That's how we actually lured it to uh, Gramble in the first place. I completely forgot that was a thing. So we could do this race again as well, uh, but we could do that a little bit later. I want to see what these two are going to say, though. Ah. I'm just saying, uh, maybe. Uh, your whole premise is flawed from the get-go. If bug snacks aren't like plants, then no amount of elbow grease is gonna make this work. Triffy, I thought you were here to support me. Oh, uh, I am. It, it's just, um, you keep trying this over and over, and one of these days you gotta pack it in. <sighs> so I'm on my own. Well, if that's how you choose to look at it, uh-oh. Well, you're not on your own. I I'm helping you out here, Wambus. Any luck so far? What does it look like? <sighs> look, I'm sorry. I'm just about at the end of my rope. I'm done taking it slow. Just give me every sort of bug snack that digs underground. I reckon it might aerate the soil or something. <laughs> Will that really work? You don't seem certain. Yeah, you, you don't really seem too certain about that. You just kind of want to throw everything at the wall and see what sticks, I guess. And look at, <laughs> look at how stupid Philbo looks now. We need, uh, by the way, I got some more uh, shrabbies. So we could, he's got a big slab of butter on his head. He's got a, he's got a shrabby nose. He's got shrabby limbs. We're going to turn his whole body into a shrabby with a big butter slab on top of it. <laughs> That's what we're going to do. Yeah, yeah. Wambus, you don't really seem too certain about this. Oh, I must look mighty foolish sticking to my guns like this. But you don't give up just because things get tough. If nobody else believes in me, I gotta believe in myself. It's that or... or nothing. Oh, man. Yeah, see, even his wife doesn't, like, support him or whatever, so that kind of sucks. We don't have any bug snacks to put over here, unfortunately, so... We need to get, like, every burrowing-type bug snack. We, ha we already brought the Rudel over here. I think that's the, uh... The one that we, we planted over here alongside the Shrabby, right? So what, what, what other... Oh, it says it right there at the top. Ramble. Snack, okay, plant a snackery in the garden. I guess that, is, yeah, it is a burrowing type, the, the the umbrella drink thing from the beach. I guess we can go get that thing. An Inchirito and a Sherby. I don't know what those are. I don't think we've come across them yet. Those names don't don't really ring a bell, but yeah, it's going to be something we have to look forward to here in the future. And he does have a uh, peanut butter plant up here as well, which is pretty cool. So we can actually get a bunch of, uh, why can't I use the... Oh man, I can't use like the traps and stuff like that while at Snacksburg, so that sucks. But uh, yeah, I guess I was just really up on all the peanut butter, all the hot sauce. Oh, yep, yeah, we already have that. Ketchup. Oh, almost got all the ketchup. There you go, 19 of those and some chocolate as well. Just kind of, you know, in case we ever need those to attract any certain types of creatures, especially the buggy ball during the race, which we'll do here in just a bit. But I also... <laughs> Oh yeah, look at how stupid he looks. Let's give him two more, uh, two more shrabbies. I got two more of them off camera, so. Strabby. Oh, yeah, let's do his left arm. Let's see if it it moves the, 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 the carrot to, like, his body or something like that. Oh, it moved it to his leg. Ugh. You know, I want to see what it does to his teeth. It looks like I can do it to his teeth. It's probably going to be to right horn, head. He already has a nose. Do I, what? I said I wanted to do his teeth, but like, what is this horn? He doesn't even have anything there. Awesome! Oh my god, he has a strawberry horn. Oh man, he looks so ridiculous. All right, well, there you go. That You look like an absolute clown right now. <laughs> He's got like strawberries all over the place, a big slab of butter on his head. Oh yeah, another, yeah, we also need to interview Chandlo, interview, uh, 
Snoop, or not Snoopy, uh, Snorpy, as well as Kromdo. We have a lot of interviews, as well as to go with uh, Triffany to the desert to the archaeology site. There's so much we can do, you guys. Also got a comment last episode saying, hey, you got yourself another video diary. Remember that backpack we found on the mountain? Uh, where would it be on here? There was a clue. Yeah, this thing. This map led us to a backpack that had a video diary, and it was video diary... One, two... Oh, did I miss one? There's number three that's missing. I don't know if I want to play number four without having number three, but I might just do it anyways. A muddy projector tape discarded among Lisbert's supplies out in the woods. You know, I guess we could play it, and then I guess if we come across number three, we can kind of put the puzzle pieces together, so... Video diary number... Video diary number four. Let's play that one. Okay, let her fly, and I'll show you my incredible aim. Just try not to hit Bilbo again. When you're finished with your amusements, come see me. We have work to do. Get out of here, Floofy. You're ruining my shot. What's wrong? There's something off about that grumpus. Floofy's not so bad. They're just passionate about science. Sure. Science. I heard about their experiments, messing with your body. It's weird. What's weird about it? I mean, look at you. How many bug snacks have you had? Hey, in my professional medical opinion, I am perfectly healthy. We're all eating bug snacks, and we're all fine, so why are you getting on my case? I'm just worried, Bill. You're not acting like yourself. You mean I'm not miserable. I found a way to make myself useful and happy to finally take some control over my life, and you're just upset because it doesn't involve you! I'm not upset. If you don't need me anymore, that's great. Go be with Floofy. Maybe I will. Ooh, drama. So it sounds like it was Egabel like a test subject for Floofy, the person that gave us that, that that gun that like purposely like we could point it at a. Oh yeah, I, I got another hot dog by the way. We can give it to Beth again. <laughs> I can turn all of her limbs into hot dogs. But remember, Floofy was the one that gave us that gun where we could, like, specifically turn one limb into a specific hey, bump. Hey. Oh, yeah, let's feed her the other uh, hot dog that I got, the weenie worm. <laughs> there you go. Uh, I guess we could do the left foot. No, I wanted to make it match the... I guess we'll do an arm. I can't, like, do anything on her head, though, so there you go, right arm. Ugh. Yeah, she, she said she likes the weenie worm, so I'm just going to turn her into one. <laughs> yeah, we need to go back to the desert to actually get the, uh, the, the shy weenie worms, unfortunately. But yeah, that's kind of interesting. I wonder what happened to number three that led to number four there and them arguing between Lizabert or is it Lizbert or Lizabert? I think it's I think it's just Lizbert, right? But uh, between Egabel and Lizbert. Oh yeah, and then here we have Snorpy Fizzlebean, an ingenious introvert inventor, conspiracy theorist, likes the indoors metallurgy and charts, hates Floofty, and loves Chandlo. Chandlo loves everyone, it looks like. Loves Snorpy and Egabel and to whoever that is. <laughs> a brawny builder bro. Surprisingly spiritual. Likes the outdoors, challenges, and rager parties, brah. <laughs> okay, so we have one down here. That looks like that might be Agabelle. That looks like a nurse's helmet right there, or a nurse's hat. And that one right there. Oh! Hold on. Oh, wait, yeah, there's Lizbert. I was about to say, hey, is there no room for Lizbert? But yeah, there she is right there. And yeah, it is Lizbert, not Lizabert. And yeah, 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 you can see right there the hat, the shape right there. That definitely looks like Agabelle right there. And then this one's probably going to be whoever this person is right here, so that's going to be interesting once we come across them. So, either way, I guess we can look at our uh, missions over here. Oh yeah, tri you know what, do we want to do the Triffany one right now, or do we want to do... You know what, because uh, at the beginning of last episode we were doing the race and I was like a huge facepalm moment where I didn't uh, know how to do it, Hello? I kind of want to redeem myself over here. Let's go, let's go to Gramble. About that training. Well, maybe, maybe Sprout can help! I'm sure he can show Charwee the ropes, what do you say? All right, let's do it. Sounds good to me. Let's try and redeem ourselves here. Let's try and do it properly. Alrighty! Now just use Sprout to lead Charwee back to my barn. <laughs> All right, let, let's cover it in chocolate sauce. Because I think he liked chocolate. Yeah, that's, that was the thing in the... Uh, oh, yeah, look at that. Look at that. He's already attracted to the ball, so that's good. But how are we going to do this with Wiggle and them trying to attack us, though? Oh, 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 oh we're stuck. There you go. And there's Philbo, hopefully- I'm like, he doesn't seem aggressive. He doesn't seem like he actually does anything bad, so that's good. Let's go into the campfire area there. We have to go between Befica and Wiggle. Maybe we can go below Befica. That might be the 
best thing to do, and then we go all the way over here to the farm. All the way to the farm, there you go, Wambus, get out of the way! And I think we did it, you guys! Alright, look at that! Little Chawi is going to go to the finish line! There we go. Chawi! Oh, who's a good boy? Chawi's a good boy, yes he is! There we go, alright. Well, it's a start. But I'm a long ways off from teaching them to spell out, We love you, Papa. Why, I have to cover myself in sauce every morning just to get them to pay attention to me. <laughs> but that's just the way it goes. You pour every little bit of love you got into somebody and you just hope they notice. Oh. But yeah, thank you guys very much for letting me know that that's how you do it. I, I, I did not think of that on my own. Multiple people in the comments were saying to do that. Either way, might as well see if I can pet Chawi. Can I pet him? Oh, look at the little, little spoon. Weeble. And we got the little spuddy here. Spuddy. The guy that has the, uh, the big heckin' uh, like butter slab on his head that we gave to Philbo. <laughs> what about the uh, the barbecue bum bunger? Bunger. I don't think I even, I don't know if I ever mentioned it before, but I think the bunger has sweet potato curly fries and tusks, uh, legs and tusks there. Interesting little bit of detail I didn't notice the first time around. Oh, we have a basketball hoop back here. Ooh, just pick that up and just play. Yep. Uh, almost, hey, almost got it. Edit, hey, edit the video to make it look like I made that. Whoa, whoa, I got my first shot in right there. Did you guys see that? That was crazy. <laughs> and it was Triffany. I guess now we could do her mission. Doing good? Yeah, I'm doing quite well. Let's talk to her. How's your research? Oh, not too bad. Actually, would you mind helping me out here? I dug up this journal out in the canyon. It's, um, a record of historical landmarks and bug snacks. I want to follow in the writer's footsteps. So, uh, if it's not too much trouble, would you want to go exploring with me? Yeah, let's do it now. Now that we have some time, sounds lovely. Oh, you're too kind. The first place of note is in Flavor Falls. Meet me there whenever's good for you. <laughs> Okay, so we just- oh, are we teleporting over there? I think we are. I was about to say, yeah, it seems like we can do this on our own time, but there she is right there. Alrighty, what we're looking for is a big stone grumpus face and a bug snack called a pinkle. Let's look around. Well, I already know where that is. We've already seen that. It's like in the waterfall area, like b behind the waterfall. Where was that at? Was it over... Here, I don't think it was this one. There's the pinkle and there's the shrabby. Must be hundreds of years old. This is what well, we need to find the grumpus one. Oh, was that? Did she already find it? Is she like right? Yeah, I think that's it right there. Actually, hold on. I found the stone grumpus. Yeah, I, I'm like I already found it, but uh, hold on. Goodbye. Talk there to you go. later. Let me just make sure. Is this actually where it was? Because I think it was. Yep, yep, there it is right there, I know. And there's the pinkle! Right there, nice, awesome. Stone Grumpus face, evidence of ancient, ancient Grumpus activity. Did they live in this cave? Alright, now we can go back to her and be like, okay, there's the stone Grumpus face and the pinkle you mentioned, so... Let's go talk to her about that. There's a pinkle right there. <laughs> Alright. I found the stone Grumpus. That there would be the work of the ancient stone Grumps, a civilization from over 5,000 years ago. All that's left to them is statuary and some puzzling mechanisms. Unlike the desert grumps, these folks didn't preserve their dead. In fact, the writer thinks they would sacrifice him to the bug snacks, like an offering to the gods and whatnot. This means bug snacks may be a more lasting legacy than any of the stuff they built. Oh, it, uh, that, I, I don't know how to interpret that. That's kind of interesting. Although kind of savage as well, basically uh, sacrificing your dead to the gods, the bug snacks, <laughs> to preserve them longer. What was I doing again? What are we looking for now? Alrighty, what we're looking for is a bit. Did I already do that? Yeah, I already. Oh, feed her a pinkle. Okay, I have to feed her a pinkle. I didn't find one here, did I? Yeah, we don't. Oh, what is that? Oh, that's the entrap thing. Yeah, I need to get the pinkle. How did we get the pinkle last time? I don't. Oh, we might go. Oh, you know what? Let's get the trip shot. Oh, I don't know if it's going to work. Oh, I can't place it down anywhere, though. Yeah, it's not letting me do that. What about the uh, snack grappler? Oh, it worked! Oh, I grabbed his jar, and now I can grab him. Nice! Oh, wait, what? Hold on. Let me grab the jar, throw it over there, and then grab the... Pinkle! Pinkle! Alright, let's feed her. 
I'm like, if I feed her a- Oh, I have two of them? What? Wait, how did I get two of them? I didn't- Unless I already had one of my- I, I might have already had one, I didn't see it. <laughs> but yeah, it, it, Oh, whoops. If I feed her a pink- a pickle, like, you're not gonna notice it. I guess I'll turn... I don't know. Pickle. Oh my gosh, she eats a jar and everything. <laughs> Let's do left hand. Ooh. Ugh. Oh, you can kind of see it. Ugh. Oh, wow, that's a good one. You might have noticed pinkle statues scattered around here. These must have been an important food source to the ancient grumps. That's everything, right? Well, I was hoping to find a camp of some sort. Maybe a corpse or two. <laughs> but oh well, there's plenty more spots to check out. Let's head back to Snacksburg for now. That's a relief complete. All right. Sherby and Chorito. Are those? Let me let me look at my uh, my Snackopedia, Bugopedia. I don't think uh, we we found either of those that we need for Wambus. In Chorito, what was the inch? What was a lettuce wrap called? That's not the Inchorito, was it? No, inch wrap. That's what it's called. Inchorito sounds like a burrito type thing. So probably find that in the next desert biome. To be quite honest, just by the sounds of it. Ooh. So you know what? Maybe we'll go over there. Maybe we'll uh, continue talking to Triffany. And see if she'll go back to the desert, perhaps, next. And then while we're over there, we get the, the shy, like, hot dog things. As well as, uh, oh yeah, we're going about the Garden, Garden Grove. I guess we can get another one of those hot dog guys and give it to Befica, just like we did last time. So, uh, let's get our trap out. There you go. Oh, is this? Oh! I saw the tree was shaking right there. Hold on. Whoa! Trip shy. Is this going to be... Ah, uh, how do I catch that thing? I guess I'll scan it first. I'll take a picture of it first. Let me see what it is. First, Cobb Hopper hops from tree to tree, won't stop until it's tripped out of the air. Yeah, I was about to say, we need to hit it with the trip thing. The, uh, the, uh, the snack trap or whatever. I don't know what it's called. <laughs> Chantlow says, this thing has an amazing vertical, bro. Yeah, maze like corn. Ah, these puns. Either way, the, the Cobb Hopper. How do I get it if I can't place this thing down anywhere? I could, I could probably place uh, it down there somewhere. It seems like it's down there now, which is good. Oh! Takes a fall damage. Yeah, it's not letting me deploy this like anywhere, unfortunately. I can place it on the rock, okay. And uh, aim it up there. No, aim it over. Oh, oh! So I can, let's see if I can get him now. Oh, whoops. Nah, I don't think that's going to work. It's not, it's not, that's not going to hit it, is it? Yeah, it's not going to hit it. Man! Aim it over there. There you go. And then fire. That could have got it right there if it, if it goes back. Oh, we got it. We got it. Yes. We got the Cobb Hopper. Cobb Hopper. Cobb Hopper. Yeah, that thing looks like a grasshopper corn on the cob looking thing. Hold on. Do we have everything here now? Flavor Falls. No. Garden Grove. Nine out of nine. Captured eight out of nine. What do we... Oh, we're missing the, uh, the Sweetie Fly. 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. And it is currently... Ooh, so it's not even the right time for the Sweetie Fly. We almost have everything. Sweetie Fly is easy to get. And I don't... Oh, yeah, we can go use uh, Befka's bed. Let's go sleep in her bed. Or sleeping bag or whatever. 4 a.m. to 4 p.m. or something like that, I think, right? So we can go to 5 a.m. There you go. Then hopefully the Sweetie Flies will come out. We can go catch them immediately, because they're really easy. All you have to do is just kind of wait for them uh, to rest. We just have to... Hold on, let me... let me Sweetie Fly, there he is. It's not showing me his, uh, his pattern, though. Is he going to go rest on the tree or something like that? Oh, he's resting all the way up there. Wait, how do I get him all the way over there, though? There's another- oh, there's, there's another one right there. Hold on. Uh, I might be able to lunch pad it to the sweetie fly. And then, uh- oh, whoops, man! Where is he? There he is. Right there. I'll wait until he rests, and then I'll get him. Uh, hold on. Let's go back to the lunch pad. Wait for, wait, wait for him to rest, and then we'll- oh, whoa, whoa. oh, I can catch the- Dr. Pepper soda thing if I wanted to. I'm not going to do that just yet. I'm going to wait for that sweetie fly. I wonder if you get... Oh, there you go. There you go. I wonder if anything special happens whenever... Uh, and then let's go to Snack Trap. Boom! We got it! We got it! Nice! Sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. Sweetie fly. <laughs> I think that's everything here, right? D does anything special happen when we get everything? Scan 9 out of 9. Captured 9 out of 9. Cool. All right, Flavor Falls are still, uh, scan 10 out of 13, captured 9 out of 13. There's still a few critters we haven't gotten over there, unfortunately, so that sucks. Then, uh, Simmering Springs, scan 11 out of 12, captured 11 out of 12. There's one thing we have yet to find over there. I need to go over there and... Oh, oh yeah, that's, uh, the beach area. There's still one thing we haven't found over there, and one of them 
we got was a waff stack rack. I, I need- I, I got a comment from someone talking about, like, waffles and turning someone into waffles or something like that. I want to catch a bunch of waff stack racks and turn someone into a giant waffle, basically. I want- I want to do that before the end of the series. So, either way, let's go back to Snacksburg now. And then, we need to go to- I guess we'll just go talk to Triffany again and see where we're going to go next for her archaeology, like, expeditions and stuff like that. And then maybe after that we can go to the new area, you know, cross that bridge that Cromdo sold to us. And, uh, oh! Looks like Gramble and, uh, Wampus are going to get into it again. Having trouble with your pets there? Shut it, Wambus! My little ones are just excited to see me. That's so. Bet it's easy to keep them in line when they're half your size. Whoa. What are you saying? You really love bug snacks so bad? Go big or go home. You! Oh, go on back to your cactus, you old coot! Ooh. Yeah, I'm like, we've given him some bigger bug snacks. Uh, well, the Spuddy's kind of big, the... Oh, yeah, what else can he talk to Gramble about? We just finished his buggy ball thing. What's going on? I hate to say it, but... Wambus has a point. Bigger snacks means more to love. And they might be a bit... smarter. Might respond better to my training, too. Please get me the biggest, snackiest bug snacks you can find. Please? <laughs> Praying Picantis. Donate a Scoopy Banoopy. <laughs> what are these things? I, I've got to donate them to Gramble, so I, I, I guess it's just for his uh, personal mission and stuff like that, instead of getting like extra inventory space like it was previously. There's so much going on right now, you guys. It's crazy. And we still need to find the two, uh, the Inchorito thing, the burrito looking thing, which we're probably going to find in the next biome, anyways. As well as the. What was it? What was the other thing? Oh, we don't have the mission selected right now, so it's not going to tell us. See, so, uh, no, he doesn't want to talk to us right now about anything, but I guess I'll get a little bit of chocolate right there. There you go. Oh, yeah, we, we have a lot of uh, bug snacks in us. Oh, yeah, I forgot to get the other hot dog while I was over there. Man, ah, there's so much I keep forgetting about you guys. Oh, where's, uh, there he is right there. I want to I want to talk to Cromdo. I want to give him the other uh, bopsicles and stuff. Maybe I'll turn his whole legs into bopsicle oh, sticks. <laughs> bopsicle. Oh, I could do his teeth and nose. What does his nose look like if I turn into a bopsicle? Hubba, hubba. Oh, <laughs> It's like a ch can I spin him around? Oh, I, I want to see what he looks like with that. Jeez, it's not let me show it though. Uh, another popsicle, sure. What about his teeth? Oh, oh man, that is nasty. Why am I only able to do this to like certain people though? It's kind of crazy. Oh, look at that. Ugh, it's like he got stabbed in the face with a giant popsicle stick. <laughs> it looks so nasty. And yeah, we can interview him too. Oh my gosh, Phil, though. Are you kidding me? You oh! I'm on fire again. I'm on fire again. No. There's no one going to do anything about the campfire setting me on fire. Everyone's just so nonchalant about the whole thing. Oh, oh. Wambus wants to talk to us now. What, what, what is it again? Oh, wait, yeah, because we had a mission for him. Goodbye. Get along now, stranger. Get along now, doggy. Oh, yeah, yeah. Triffany. I want to go talk to her. Is she even here? She's not here, is she? Yeah. I guess if I wanted to talk to her. What's up, bro? Yeah, we can go... Oh, no, yeah, I was about to say I wanted to see if she's over here again. And yeah, she is for some strange reason. Can I talk to her again? Let's eat, let's chat. No, I can't. Okay, I guess we'll have to wait a little yeah, while. And then we can continue our archaeology adventures a little bit later. But I guess we'll continue them on our own and go over to the desert and see what that biome's all about. And, uh, oh. What? Yeah, why were we in Flavor Falls? Why was oh, she bro. not... What's up? Why was she not, like, yeah, suspicious about that one, uh, like, gateway that we found or whatever that was? Or either that, she didn't know about it. Maybe we're going to go back there a little bit later or something. But either way, let's head over here to the desert. Go to the Cromdos like a uh, bridge they sold us go just beyond that bridge oh did we already get these things Sweetie crystal sweetie fly no yeah see this is the uh the rock candy i was talking about during uh lisbert's drawings Ooh, i don't think we got that one yet did we guess we'll get the lunch pad and then uh aim the lunch pad at the sweetie perfect perfect the sweetie fly is asleep right now lunch pad uh aim it at him and then snack trap let's try and get the boom i got him there we go crystal sweetie fly awesome Sweetie fly! And yeah, we got ourselves, uh, like, candy over here. Candy patches. Pile of sugar sticks and sticks. Evidence of a bug snack. This bug snack seems to appear during the day, but not when it's raining. Yeah. I don't know why we never saw him before now. Maybe we didn't. I just never noticed him. And yeah, we need to come back here at, like, midnight or something like that. Or, uh, during a full moon. And we should find ourselves a white cheap hoof, just like we did when the first time we came over here. And give that to Wiggle. So, we can do that a little bit later. Oh, whoa! What is, uh, Chandlo doing over here? Ooh, is he going to help us with the bridge? Hey, bro! Just got done fixing up the old bridge. Would have done it sooner, but Cromdo wanted me to pay him for the rights of repair. Whatever that means. 
Anyway, no need to thank me. Just go find Shelda, all right? All right, Shelda. That's who we're looking for right now. So that's good. Yeah, he got heckin' scammed by Cromdo. <laughs> He's a heckin' scammer. Sizzlin' Sands. We're going to a new area here, Sizzlin' Sands. And we're going to be looking for... Shelda. That's what they just said right there. Ooh. Seems like another deserty area here. I'm like, that area that back there was kind of like a mesa. Maybe this- Ooh, ooh, ooh! Moth the- Moth the Supreme- Ooh, that's the thing! That shot us out of the sky during the intro, you guys! And some of you guys were saying, yeah, maybe that's the mother- Oh man, look at that, it's like spinning all around. And some of you guys were saying, yeah, that's the mother, uh, bug snacks that Wiggle is referring to. Looks like it could use a good slicing. Cromdo says, when the moon hits your eye like a big pizza pie, that's a trip to the hospital. <laughs> All right, now, how could we catch this thing? What it like again? It oh, it doesn't say journal entry. Let's see. Oh, weird frame. Oh, million calories. Oh my gosh. Meaty, aggressive, flying, and breakable. Ooh, so it's like the uh. Oh man, look at all the things down here in Sizzling Sands. We have like a rasby down there. Another cookie-looking thing. Don't know what that is. Oh, it looks like the praying mantis is over here that we need to get for uh for Gramble. So that's good. Seems like a dung beetle or something right there. I don't know. Maybe another grasshopper-looking thing there. A scorpion right there. Oh, that must be the burrito! That looks just like the entrap, but it's, uh, where's the entrap on this? I want to see. Ah, oh, man, I forgot. Oh, yep, yeah, look at that. The entrap where it's, like, curled up like a worm. That's got to be the entrapito right there. Boom. Let's let's see if we can find that thing and then get it. Then we can get that thing and bury it in, uh, Wamus's garden. Oh, my gosh, is that a pile of waffles? We got ourselves a stack of waffles. Flap Jackarack, the enemy of the Waff Stackarack. <laughs> How do we get this guy? Fears the praying mantis looking thing, hates the spuddy, loves peanut butter, loves chocolate. Ooh! And there's a taco thing back there! Taco roach? A very timid snack. It seems easy to catch. Loves hot sauce. Lo so we're go Oh, is this going to give us the. Oh, something happened. Something happened over here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. No, I can get two of these uh, spuddies. No, 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 no. Oh, I almost got the other one. Spuddy. It's a loaded spuddy. Ooh, it's got like tons of different toppings on it and stuff. Hold on. Let me get these, uh, oh man, you know what, I, I have, I already have one spuddy, I don't need to catch another one. Cheap hoof right there, I don't know how to get the moth, 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 what was that thing called again? Cheese! Oh, that's what that is, I keep thinking it was mustard, but it's cheese! How do we get up the, oh, I probably launched myself. Ooh. Oh, there's, uh, what was his name again? Shelda, a perplexing prophet, doesn't eat bug snacks, ooh. Probably like Scramble. Nope, likes uh, Chandlow and hates Floofty. I, I, it seems like everyone hates Floofty. Even I hate Floofty. <laughs> oh, and there's the Praying Mantis thing. And it's on fire again. Praying Picantis, large, aggressive, and destructive. Best to be avoided. Ooh, it's got like chili pepper legs, a burrito butt, like a Dorito head. And uh, I don't know what his arms are and body are there. I can't tell at this angle. Oh, he's got like chili pepper arms. It's like a taquito body or something like that right there. And taco arms. <laughs> Right. Oh, oh, something happened right here. Oh, the the, the, the the pancake thing got knocked out. Boom! flapjack a rack Flap-jack-a-rack. flapjack a rack <laughs> What's that thing right there? Score pepper, similar to the scorpino or whatever that was, lurks invisibly on the desert. Rocks and roasts everything that can get too close. Ooh, yeah, I was about to say it looked glitched right there, but no. Oh, oh, oh it's going to throw fire at us. Oh! Oh my god, it did! How did it hit me there? Oh, look at that, we have a Mayan pyramid over here! Ooh! Oh, we have stuff over here. Breakfasty bits. Oh, yeah, this is probably for the flap jacker act then, huh? Yeah. Oh, what is that? Oh, there's the Enchirito! As long as it's under the sand, it can't be caught, but it can... But it can't dig through solid rock. I, I, hold on, what it like and stuff? Loves hot sauce, loves... Oh, it's attacking the, uh, the, the flapjack thing right there, sticking his tongue out. <laughs> Might be able to get the, uh... Oh, you know what, let's get the trip shot. Why can't I place this down anywhere? Oh, there we go. I need it to attack something so it actually comes out of the ground. Like the waffle thing. Ooh, yeah, I should bring the waffle thing over here and let it, let it, let the Enchirito hit it. But where did that, wa or, uh, not waffle, but the pancake thing. Because we saw a pancake thing around here somewhere. Oh, yeah, and I wanted to light... Oh, what's that thing now? Buffalo cuss? What? It's like a chicken wing, but it's flying. <laughs> oh, I, oh, yeah, I need to go get the cheese over here, because we do need that. That's like the new... Uh, th oh, there's the waffle thing right there. There's the wa Now, what did it like? Chocolate and stuff? I think so. Hold on. There you go. Hit the uh, Enchirito with the chocolate. Come on, little... Ah, oh, man, the... I don't know how to get the Enchirito, then. 
No, oh, wait, hold on. We have uh, two of them right here. They're not going to run into each other, though. Look at that. You can actually see my grumpus footprints there. That's pretty cool. A little bit of detail. I don't know where the waffle guy went, though. He's gone. Or the pan... You guys know what I mean. <laughs> uh, maybe I'm just calling him a waffle because that's superior to the pancake, right? But uh, I need to get up this. So I'm going to get the lunch pad and aim it, like, up there. And then uh, I'm going to... No! Come on, hit the lunch pad. It's still aimed up there. Oh, my gosh. Oh! Oh, wait, hold on. No, we, we can use the... Gra I, f I forgot. Yeah, we can use the grappling thing to get the... Uh, five cheese right there. Perfect. Is there any other we can get? Ten more cheese. Nice. And is there one? No. I think it was just two of them. But we got ten cheese right there, which is great. Nice. All right, let's get the lunch pad back. Boom. And uh, I don't know where the pancake guy is, so that kind of sucks. Oh, if I oh okay. can we hit that? Yeah, he hits that. Hmm, I don't know what to do with this guy, though. Let me scan him again. Inchorito loves cheese, loves hot sauce. So if I cover it under the trap, or, uh, hold on. Do that, and then aim it there. Oh my gosh, I think he's glitched out the head. What in the world's happening? It's on fire? Oh, no! Man, how do I get... I need to get rid of that, 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 that jalapeno guy up there. Need to get something to kill it and get my lunch pad back, too. Uh, snack, there we go. Retrieve both of those. There we go. Nice. So, I think I'm going to do the trip shot here. Aim it there. Fire it. And then we cover this in cheese or something. And hopefully... What happened there? It broke! Why did it break? Man! There you go. Hold on. There you go. Fire it. Nice. Hit it with the cheese. There you go. No! It's on fire again! Oh, no! Man! All right, well, I, th I think it might be able to survive the fire, actually, now I think about it. Okay, there you go. Oh, oh, oh! There you go! There you go! They're out of the... We got one! We got one! Boom! Inchorito caught. Nice! Well, it's... It oh, man, it's burrowed in the ground again. Hold on. Let let's get the cheese. There you go. Hit it with the cheese. Go to the snack trap again. Come on, it's covered in cheese. Come on, you love cheese, don't you? Boom! There- okay, that was a lot easier. I don't know why I was making it harder. Incharito! Incharito! <laughs> that sounded terrible. Alright. Well, we got a lot of bug snacks over here. We have one slot open. We can probably get that- where- where did the taco guy go? There was a taco, like, cockroach or something around here? I don't know where it is right now, though. There's two spuddies over there. Oh, there it is, I think. Yeah, there it is right there. Hold on. Loves cheese, loves hot sauce. Look at that little thing. Cockroach. Let me, uh, I guess we'll get, a uh, this. Oh, wait, hold on. Oh, there's two of them right there. Hold on. Uh, let me get the snack trap, retrieve that. I'll put it, like, right here between those two. Then I'll cover it in hot sauce. Or, you know what? I'll cover it in cheese just because we can get cheese here. We're in the biome for it, you know? So there you go. It's covered in cheese. Oh, man. Look at that. Look at the shadow of that that, that moth pizza thing. There we go. There we go. Perfect. All right. One. And boom! We got the taco! Talk roach! Talk roach. Talk roach. All right, we got everything. Our, our backpack is full. We, we can drop more bug snacks if we need to, but let's finally talk to uh, Shelda over here. See what he's up to. Mm, this one has many questions. So it is my wisdom shall be shared. Are you Shelda? Am I? One who is called Shelda exists beyond the cell. Will you give me a straight answer? What is your deal? <laughs> yeah, what's your deal? Why, why are you being so weird? Ah, the questions must cease. Wisdom can be gained only through experience. One who is you, tainting others with the toxin that is bug snacks, have strayed from the mother's path. So it is. You must atone. Uh, will you come to Snacksburg? Yeah, this guy's like shaming me for eating bug snacks, it sounds like, but I, I, I'm allergic to bug snacks, so you can't, you can't shame me for anything. <laughs> um, will you come to Snacksburg? In seeking inner peace, Shelda has renounced material temptations. So it is that Shelda is really grumping hungry. <laughs> Seek the yellow sauce within the great maw of stone. On this, I shall be sustained. You're just going to eat a bunch of cheese sauce? Oh, can I actually give them that? Yeah, I've got the cheese sauce for Shelter. I might as well get some more. Oh, and yeah, I saw in the background, you can get... There is hot sauce here as well. 
Uh, oh, I'm already full on that, though. Now, what is the range of this? Yeah, it's not really that good. But there's more cheese sauce up there. Boom. Yeah, I used a bit of it to get the uh, the, the taco as well as the, uh, the enchiladas there. But uh, I, I have to get some for Shelda, so... Is this the materials? Is this your material sustenance? The cheese sauce? Ooh. Ooh. Yum is one. And one is craving reapers. Consider the sandscape a reflection of the mind. One unable to escape its dry embrace. First, an act of rebirth to break out of my current shelter. So too must you break shells, crack open the egglers, give them new life. Egglers? We haven't seen that. Two egglers, crack two egglers. Egg, egg lightenment. <laughs> Uh, our, our inventory is full right now, though, so... I don't know, I'm kind of thinking about maybe heading back a little- Oh, and there's the buffalo wing thing over there. See, there's still things we haven't gotten, like the buffalo wing thing there. Oh! I need to get, uh... Oh, but that's like... At the, how do I get something to, like, slam into the ground? Because the spuddy only does it, like, into a wall, you know? I don't know if anything can go into the ground. I want to see what's at the top of this, though. Ooh! Is this like a pizza? <laughs> There's like a pizza at the middle of this. Can I take a picture of that? No. Enchiritos there. Enchir oh, breakfasty bits. Hot sauce. Oh, there's a thing of hot sauce right here, but I'm full on that as we already saw. Is that an enchirito right there too? No, it's a chest. It's a chest. Can I, I can't open it. I think so. Yeah, I can't open up the chest. Huh. Now, where are these eggs? Th oh, and there's a grumpus egg. Can I scan that one? No? you think you'd be able to scan these things. If I oh, wait. Sarcophagus! This ancient stone coffin is stuck shut. Perhaps it needs to be cut open. Ooh! Cut open, but with what? I don't know. Egg, crack two egglers. Now, are egglers things here? It might be in another biome, kind of like we had to go to another biome to get the, uh... And what's that thing? Oh, it's just a regular cheapoof. I thought it might have been another variation of the cheapoof. Oh, wait, hold on! Sody D! This liquidy bug lives in the oasis and won't tolerate the presence of sauce. So it hates every type of sauce, hates fire, hates hot sauce, hates ranch, hates cheese, probably, I guess it hates ketchup, maybe, I, I and chocolate, I, and peanut butter, I assume. And what does Gramble says, we got sody, peel bugs, purple stuff, and two kinds of sody D. What is that a reference to? That sounds so familiar. That sounds so familiar. I don't know what it's from. We got soda, OJ, purple stuff, and two kinds of sunny D. Two kinds. All right. There's a- I can't get them. I have to drop something if I want to get that. Oh, the- that thing was knocked out for a moment, it looked like. Hold on, hold on. Is that how we get it? We get the, uh, the spuddy to- oh! Oh, no! To ram into it, I think. We get them to ram into each other. No! Picantes! Picantes! Is that what he's saying? Something like that. Uh-oh. We're going to run into each other. Come on. Yes. Oh, hold on, hold on. What is this? what is the, uh- oh, the spuddy just ran into another- oh, wait! Oh, man, they ran into the wrong thing. What is the picante thing like? Or, uh, what, what, what is the Spuddy like? I want to see... Loves... Okay, so I cover the Picante thing in cheese. Is the Spuddy going to attack it? Boom! Covered in cheese. Come on, come on, come on. Over here, over here. I'm, I will draw... Oh, nice, nice, nice! Let's, let's get him, let's get him, let's get him. We need him. Oh, no, my inventory's full. I think, I think I... Hold on, does it take a multiple inventory slots for that thing? Maybe. Man! I thought I'd have the opportunity to drop something right there. Or maybe... Yeah, he's on fire! Oh, my God! There's a thing right there! What is that? Oh no, I'm covering it in cheese! How do I, how do I... Oh, I lure him into the... Hold on, let's lure him into the water. Lure him into the water. And then we get a spuddy to attack him while in the water. Or even just lure him into the water in general. Hold on. Uh, what did this guy like? He liked, uh, he loves hot sauce. Maybe even, uh, he'll, he'll just follow me over here. He'll try and attack me into the water. Perhaps. Uh, so, hot sauce. There we go. And the, it doesn't work in water, unfortunately, so that sucks. Let's bring him over here. He's going to, oh, he's angry. Oh, here we go, here we go. Oh, 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 he's extinguished. Oh, yes, it worked! Get rid of the spuddy! I just got an achievement right there. Got to catch a lot. That's probably for catching a certain amount of bug snacks. Yeah, let's get rid of the regular spuddy. We don't need that. Boom, we got the praying picantis. Nice! Picantis. Picantis. How do you, uh... What, what, what is an... I don't know where the Eggler things are. How many things have we seen here, by the way? Because we've seen a pretty big variety of creatures. In, uh, what, what is this place? Sizzling Sands? Yes, yeah, Sizzling Sands. 9 out of 15 skinned, 5 out of 15 captured. Still haven't found the little Rasby thing, still haven't found the little cookie thing. We found the moth thing already. I don't know where the Eggler thing is. I think it might be in another biome in general. Hmm, that sucks. 
But uh, I kind of want to go back to the uh, to the base, though. Let's go back. Let's let's go drop off some bug snacks, as well as uh, give. Oh yeah, we need to get one more thing, right? Because we have the we have the Enchirito. We need to get one more thing for Wambus. I forgot what it was. We need to get the uh, the the. What, what, what was the thing, the picante thing? We need to give that one to Wambus. He wanted bigger bug snacks for his uh, ranch. And, oh! A bag of chips! Puffy snack pod, ooh! Is there something I can drop and get that instead? What do I have, like, multiple of that I don't need? Uh, I, I have multiple of the Incheritos, but I kind of want to keep at least one, maybe. Maybe turn someone's arm into a burrito or something stupid, <laughs> you know? I guess we can get rid of the Crabble. I guess we'll get rid of him because we already have him. So, uh, yes, get rid of the Crabble or Crapple. There we go. Now I need to go over there and get the, uh, can I make this jump? Oh, no! Man! I pro oh, pff, and I immediately get hit by his body. Are you kidding me? Ah, all right. Wait, uh, how do I get that bag of chips there? I might have to sprint and then jump. I don't think I sprinted right there, so let's try and get him this time. And then we'll have another... I, I wonder how many things we're missing after this, though. There's another barbecue bunger right there. So let's try and sprint. And then jump. Oh, I better not over jump. Oh, I got him. Puffy snack pod. Nice. Snack pod. Snack pod. All right. Yeah, how are we doing uh, progress-wise over here for the uh, Bugapedia? Let's see. Where are we at right now? Garden Grove. Simmering Springs. No, that's the beach. Scorched Gorge. So scan 12 out of 12. Captured 10 out... Tw yeah, 10 out of 12. Still need to get the jalapeno guy and still need to get the white chee poof. But we've seen everything here, 6 p.m. to 4 a.m. So yeah, around midnight. Uh, around midnight and apparently during full moon specifically. It doesn't say here though, that's kind of weird. How do we catch this one though? Maybe, oh yeah, I'd probably have to lure that one into the water just like we did with the uh, the, the, the taquito guy or what? Entry no, entry is a burrito thing. You guys, you guys know what I mean, the, the praying mantis thing. Uh, I don't have a cursor on this loading screen, but it's, it's right there in the center, bottom center-ish. <laughs> With the taco arms and the chili, like, legs and arms and, like, the taquito body and, like, the burrito butt. <laughs> it's crazy. The Dorito head. All right, well, let's go over here. And I don't have anything for you, unfortunately. Uh, I'll, I'll definitely have to get more strappies to turn you into a giant strappy, but <laughs> let's just uh, drop off an inch. Oh, wait, nope. Non inch burrito here. What was I doing? Yep, praying picantis. That's what it is. Let's do that. Praying picantis. Picantis. There you go. There's one right there. Oh, my God. Look at how huge that thing is. Let me pet it. Here we go. Picantes. Picantes. Yeah, he's got a literal Dorito head right there. <laughs> All right, and then we have an uh, Enchirito we need to, get, uh, to bury over here, so boom. Got an Enchirito right there, perfect. And, uh, you know what, I guess I'll turn Wambus, one of Wambus' arms or something into an Enchirito then. So, uh, just kind of symbolize that he's one with the crops. Enchirito. Oh, teeth? No. Oh, let's give him a nose. All right. <laughs> He's got, like, the butt of a burrito for a nose. <laughs> oh, a cockroach. Does, I don't know if anyone wants any of these new things just yet, so I, I'm kind of hesitant to give anything to anyone, you know? Uh, honeybee. Yellow peel bug. Yeah, I need to give the... Now, yeah, what, what happens if I give someone a, a bag of chips? <gasps> Let's give them that one. Uh, teeth. Arm. Teeth. Woo! Oh, ew! Oh, that's nasty. He's got, like, potato chips coming out of his mouth. Ugh. Nasty. Oh, I can talk to him right now. What was I doing again? Oh, yeah, it's that thing again. Yeah, I'm still missing, uh, two things over here. I've, I don't know what they were. I guess we'll have to look at his mission over here to actually see what that was. But our, our episode is getting really long right now, you guys. It's crazy. So I'm going to end it right now. The next time we come back, we're going to have to continue on over here. Undergrowth. Plant a snack. Oh, yeah, snackery. We can do that pretty easily, I'm sure. And then a Sherby. We don't know what that is just yet. It's probably going to be in another biome. Then also, speaking of another biome, we have to find the Eggler things, which is probably going to be in another biome. So we're going to have to look forward to that next time, because I'll have to end the episode right here. It's getting really long. So thank you guys all very much for watching. If you guys enjoyed the video, be sure to let me know by leaving a like down below. And if you guys want more of these awesome videos, be sure to hit that subscribe button. Thought about my latest videos on our YouTube homepage as soon as they come out so you don't miss an episode. And while you're down there, be sure to hit that bell to turn on post notifications so you'll get notified as soon as a new video goes up. Because I'm still basically uploading this like randomly, but at the same time, like almost every day I'm uploading it. So at least you'll, you guys will know exactly when every day I'm uploading these Bug Snacks videos if you hit that bell to turn on post notifications. But until then, thank you guys all very much for watching, and I'll see you guys here next time with some more Bug Snacks. Oh, bye there. Whoa.